Hi everyone. So today we're going to go over entering the information or the content into your um, Core Shell Master Templates for the fall semester or for the spring semester even. Um, and I just wanted to quickly go over everything with you in one shot. So if you were assigned a master template to create for the fall semester, you will notice on the home page after you log in to moodle.essex.edu, all of your course, all of your courses that you taught in the past semester or in the past few semesters, I should say, are um, located over here at the bottom or they may be over here on the right hand side. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, the template that I'll be developing, and it's the Business 207 Leadership Template. Even though it's run before, we are recreating it. So we're going to click on this template. And as you can see, it is a blank template. So um, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to click on, oops, my apologies, you're going to click on the wheel over here. In the right hand corner, let me see if I could expand this screen a little bit. And then you're going to go to turn editing on. So, as you can see, the entire screen just changed, which means that you're now in editing mode. So, this is what we call the crossbars. And these crossbars are important because it allows you to move content or information up or down. So, if you hover over the crossbar, this also changes. And if you drag it, you can left click and you can drag and you can move this piece. Uh, let's see, let's move it over here. Okay, and as you can see now, the announcements are moved underneath the course orientation. But we're going to move that back because it doesn't belong there. So we're going to put it back under class information. Now, one thing I did want to go over and stress, as I've done in previous trainings, is that my access looks a little bit different from yours. And over here, as you can see, I have two with add a resource and add an activity. Yours will only have one screen or one prompt. But everything, everything in there is the actual same. So your course templates are devised into 15 weeks for the fall semester and also for the spring semester. Some of you will have a complete course that you will need to develop. Others will might have only weeks one through eight because they were developed for um, the back end of the spring semester. But it's, it's very easy to do. So what we're asking is that all of this information, and we have it spelled out here for you, is completed. So what we're gonna do, is I'm going to go into week two over here just to show you how to upload the content that we are requesting. Okay, as you can see, we also have the edit buttons on the right hand side of the screen, and this is really where we're going to work from. You do not need to change where it says week two because when our courses go live, once again, these are the master course shells, when these courses go live, this will all change to the corresponding week. So week one over here will become August 31st when our fall term begins. Week two will become September 5th through the 6th, whatever that date may be. So you do not need to change that. So let's go over here to the week two lesson and let's just start to edit some of the content in here. Um, so you're going to go to the right hand side, you're going to click on edit and we're going to edit the settings. So as you can see, we already have pre-populated week two lesson. Please enter the name of your week lesson and delete this note. So we're going to delete the note and we're going to put intro to leadership and supervision. Now, make sure that you save it and return to course. So each week should have what that lesson topic or your topic for the week is about. Your lecture, week two lecture, enter the time of your lecture. So we're gonna go back to edit and edit settings. Okay, you're going to delete this. And let's just hypothetically say um, 
Well, my class time is to be determined according to the students because it's a true online class. Some of you may have times associated with it, so you are going to put those times in there. So let's just say it's a Monday, Wednesday class from 8.30 to um, 9.50. Okay, so that, those are going to be your lecture times. Then we're going to ask that you take your Zoom account, okay, and you can populate your meeting time. So let's schedule a meeting. I'll just make this for today. Let's just say it doesn't really matter. And um, we're going to save, okay, and then I'm going to copy the invitation going to take a piece of it. Okay, and I'm going to go back to editing. And I'm just going to paste it right into that document. This you do not have to worry about until the beginning of the semester. Okay, this um, piece of the template is actually just a placeholder for when um, the actual course sections get done now once again these are master course templates so these course templates are going to be rolled over to psych uh, to each and every single course section so if i was creating psychology 101 this template would go to section one two three oac and so on and so forth so really you don't have to worry about this section but i wanted to show you anyway then we're going to go to readings we're going to click on edit again and edit the settings. And I want the students to read chapter one. And save. So really what you're doing is you're just preparing the lessons way in advance. Okay, now for our resources. So what we're asking is that if you have PowerPoints or PDF files or any type of Word documents or any kind of supplemental materials that the students are going to need for this lesson, so this is where you're going to put them. And also with the instructions. So we'll go back to edit and edit settings. We're going to remove this and read uh, all below documents let's just say okay now there's no spot to put the documents in it because this is just a placeholder so we save and return so how do we upload the documents to put in there so once again mine's a little bit different so we're going to go down to the bottom okay and yours will say add resource or activity uh, mine is separated so we're going to add a resource and I'm going to add a file so let's add a file Okay, uh, C, and this is just to save some time. Now you have two ways to uh, pull the file. If you click over here, you can browse your computer. That's on the left-hand file, and we'll go to Choose File. Okay, so let's go to Downloads, and we're going to click on the PowerPoint, and then we're going to upload the file. And it just may take a quick minute. Okay, as you can see over here, the file is now uploaded. You can change the appearance, embed it. You can uh, force the download. You can create it in a pop-up. I mean, it, it, at this point, you could put it into a new window. It's really a matter of preference. So then we're going to save and return. My computer is acting a little strange. Oops, see, and I just made a mistake over here. So I need to put in the title. And it will prompt you if there's missing information. Okay, so now, remember when I talked to you about the crossbars? So the file that we just uploaded is over here. The crossbar will allow you to move it. So we're going to hold, left click and hold it. And we're going to move it up here underneath the resources. So as you can see, this was moved underneath here. And the same thing applies to Word documents or anything else. So let's get into the discussions. 
we are asking that you provide uh, for the week the three discussions and also three assignments. And this allows faculty to choose which uh, discussions or assignments that um, they want their students to, to uh, work on for the week. So let's add a quick discussion. We're going to go to edit, edit settings. And this is where, uh, what is leadership to you? I mean, the question should be um, very explicit, meaning you want the students to really, you know, critically think about the lessons that they've learned. Um, you don't want to tell them, you know, read the question at the back of the chapter and tell me your thoughts. I mean, you know, you give them something a little bit more substantial. But for purpose of time, we're just going to include this, and then we're going to save and return to course. Okay, so as you can see over here, this is the first discussion, but what's wrong? So now we don't know what is the title of this. So you always want to make sure that you include a title because this will make it easier to find in the gradebook when the courses do go live. So let's just make this title week two discussion part one for the purposes of time once again and I'll show you how that changes. Otherwise, you're just going to have um, three unit two discussions right over here, part one. So that's what we just changed. Okay, now for an assignment, we're going to click on edit, edit settings. Okay, and let's make this um, assignment one. Okay, uh, Word document on, okay, we're just going to do that. You can even upload a file with instructions. Once again, you're going to do the same thing. You can tell them to see the below, see the attached, whatever it may be. Do not worry about the availability in the course template because once again, faculty have the ability to change the actual dates. Okay, same thing over here. You don't need to worry about this stuff. And we're going to save and return to course. Okay, and now that began to populate. So now as you can see, the template is starting to, to move along. Right now, um, if you have tests or anything that you want to include, we can um, show you another video on how to upload the test. Sometimes it's a little bit more complex. Uh, so that will be like another part of this training. But for now, I wanted to show you how to actually begin to populate this template. Okay, so I do hope that it was very helpful for you, but all of this needs to be done for weeks one through 15 once again. We are asking you to do three discussion questions per week, three assignments per week uh, with explicit instructions to the students. Uh, this way they know what that lesson is for the week, the same way you would do in a traditional classroom setting, except in an online course, we need to make sure that we delineate everything um, that they are doing for that week's worth of assignment. So I do hope this was helpful. If you have additional questions, please contact me at bellodecastro at essex.edu. Thanks so much.